Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you enjoy this video, and if you do, please subscribe. But we're gonna show you guys how to bench bleed a master cylinder. Now, anytime you replace a master cylinder in a vehicle, it's a good idea to do this ahead of time to remove as much air from the cylinder as you can before installing it into your vehicle. So this is a fifth gen ZL1 master cylinder that we're gonna be bench bleeding because I'm replacing the master cylinder in my V6 Camaro with this one. And if you'd like to know how to do that, you can watch our other video on that. We'll have the link in the description. So first what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove that protective covering. Now this is where your brake pedal ties into the master cylinder. This piston moves in and out as you apply pressure to the brakes. And that displacement is what causes your brakes to engage. So what you wanna do is wrap it in a rag or a towel to avoid damaging the unit and install it in your vise or something else that you can keep it stationary with. Now when you're putting this in the vise you want to keep this area free as well as where the brake lines tie in because you're going to need to access these and this. So we're going to go ahead and remove the cap and remove the plugs that came with the new master cylinder. Now most auto parts stores will sell a kit like this it has different size fittings to go in where the brake lines connect and what we're going to do is then feed tubes up into the top of the master cylinder and as we move the piston in and out it will remove the air from those chambers and replace it with the brake fluid that we're going to add into the master cylinder. Yep. So I have the two plastic fittings installed along with the hoses which I'm going to feed into the top of the reservoir. Now that we have these in here so nothing's going to leak I'm going to add some brake fluid in here. And when you're filling up the fluid, make sure you keep these lines elevated above the fluid level so you don't have any fluid dripping out. And we filled the reservoir with brake fluid. Now what we're gonna do is work this piston in and out to remove the air from the cylinder itself. And when you're going to push this piston in, you wanna be very careful not to damage it anyway. And if there's anything on the surface here, make sure you get that off so that the seals inside are not damaged. You also don't wanna push this piston in too far because you can also then damage the seals by pushing in further than intended. Now every piston's a little bit different, so it's gonna depend on the one that you're working with, but just do it kind of by feel. Now for moving it in and out, if you're gonna press from this outside lip, you wanna use something soft, preferably put a cloth over it, and then maybe use a block of wood. You can, if you look inside, you can see there's kind of a half sphere shape in there, right in there. They sell a, basically looks like a screwdriver, but the ends round it off that you can use. You wanna be careful using any sharp objects if you're gonna press on the inside because you don't wanna damage any part of this machined finish. What I'm gonna use is the end of actually a nail punch, but the one end is kind of smooth and flat, and I'm gonna put just a rag over top of that and stick that right in there so that way there's no chance of me damaging anything. Now you wanna work this in slowly so that the air is able to circulate out. Just like a nice slow and steady push. You wanna make sure your hoses are submerged in the brake fluid. Otherwise, when the piston comes back out, it's gonna suck air in through the hoses and defeat the whole purpose of what you're trying to do. Now ideally, you'd have clear hoses. The ones I got with this kit were black so you can't see the recirculating fluid you can see the uh, you can slightly see air bubbles through the fitting all right now that you're no longer seeing any bubbles being removed from the system you're done what you're going to want to do is leave this setup intact sometimes they'll sell little caps that go on top of the fittings that this kit did not have that so I'm going to leave these hoses in the top until I have this installed what you're gonna to wanna to do is install the base into the vehicle and then as quickly as possible, swap these fittings with the brake lines. Just be aware that you are probably gonna spill some fluid, so have something covering any painted surfaces in your vehicle. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. See you guys here next time.